Okay, so let's have a little look at our oscillator section, which is right here. So we're going to concentrate within these three boxes, or this section right here, where we've got our mixer between the four oscillators. And of course, we have our oscillator section, our unison, and our mix. But let's have a little look at the oscillator section. Now, Spire has actually got four oscillators, and these are identical to one another so once we know one of these oscillators we're going to know all four which is going to be pretty handy we do have a copy and paste function so if we like what we did in oscillator one we could copy that and then just flick to oscillator two and paste it in and that's going to leave the exact same settings from whichever oscillator that you have copied and pasted so having a look here we have a few different types of tuning which we've got octaves Okay, and we've got notes here as well. So we've got our plus and minus 11 semitones. And again, if you want to pop this back to its default position, you can just hit command and then that's just going to go back to zero again. And then we've got our fine tune here, which is plus or minus. I'm going to go out in the limb here and say a semitone. So we've got plus or minus on that as well. So that's our different types of tuning. And then moving on to this guy here, we've got control A and control B. Now, these guys are basically multifunctional parts here. So it's going to depend on uh, which oscillator mode we're using. These two guys are going to have, they're going to do different things, basically. So in classic mode here, what we have at the minute, you can hear that it's default, which is a sawtooth waveform. There we go. Now, once we bring in control A, this is going to morph into our square wave. Uh, so let's have a listen to that. Pretty cool. So you can, you can, you can mix in a little bit of it as well if you want just a, a little bit more of a, an actual square wave, which is cool. Now, control B, is going to change the width or position of of the of the square wave here. So let's have a listen to that. So you can hear it can actually cancel itself out. So pretty cool. That's what the controls A and B do in classic mode. Then we've got our phase part here as well so this basically controls the position of the phase I know if you've got if you're selecting from 0 between 0 and 30 the oscillator is is free running but then as we bring up the phase here you can see if we select a higher value between 30 on ahead up to what does it go to here it's up to as far as a thousand actually the oscillator will restart its phase um, you know, at whatever position we have this uh, little knob at here, which is pretty cool as well. 